it's been really nice to dive into this project. I'm leading a group of five students from Grant McEwen, and we're gonna be painting the facade and just really adding lots of color and excitement and design and ornamentation to the building. We put out a call for ornament and crime, and it's based on a 1908 art history lecture that we've all had through school where an Austrian architect, Adolf Luce, in 1908, wrote this paper saying that anything ornamental or decorative was a waste of human capacity. So sometimes our call for entries are to provoke our artists into response. <laughs> We have work from over 46 artists, a lot of them from Alberta, but a several of them for, are from across Canada as well. And it represents everything from contemporary blown glass, ceramics, wood, fiber, metals, jewelry, mixed media. It's a really fantastic show that has a great creative expression and shows craftspeople's irreverent sense of humor. We're just really thrilled that we get to work with the muralist Emily Chu to put a vibrant exterior on our building to really show people what's inside. So this is the front of the building. This is inspired by all the pieces that's inside. So it's a gallery um, and still life. Over here, this is the side. More, the focus is more on the making of craft. So we have like frames, woodworking, quilts, um, ceramics, some tied in with like the river valley and um, some berries. Here we have like a shuttle and painting and then on the back side is my interpretation of ornament and crime and just what ornamentation means to me. I think art and permanent art is, you know, is a form of rebellion. It, it's very powerful. It's a form of expression. So I've kind of treated the mural design project as kind of a, like a tattoo of the building, treating the character of the building as, you know, like a person. We really feel that having a mural on the exterior of our building will just bring a lot more people inside the Craft Council to see the talented artists that we represent from across the province.